How are you feeling about the vote? It's not the kind of history Republicans were hoping to make. Tonight, for the first time in 100 years, failing to elect a Speaker of the House. A Speaker has not been elected. On Jeff ballot? A Speaker has not been elected. After ballot. A Speaker has not been elected. The chaos, the result of a bitter battle between Republicans, a small but stubborn faction of right-wing members voting against party leader Kevin McCarthy. People ask me, what do you want? I want the tools or I want the leadership to stop the swamp from running over the average American every single day. McCarthy projecting confidence this morning. I'm not going anywhere. I will always fight to put the American people first, not a few individuals that want something for themselves. But also predicting a drawn out process. McCarthy, is there any scenario in which you drop out of this race? No. McCarthy had already made major concessions to the rebel Republicans who were pushing him for prime committee seats, commitments to vote on specific legislation, and rules changes, including some that would make it easier to oust a speaker later. With the House constitutionally bound to elect a speaker before taking up any other business, rank-and-file Republicans, the vast majority of whom back McCarthy, growing frustrated by the small group of holdouts. If I didn't know any better, it's like the Democrats paid these people off. Hey, let's pay them off. Let, let's make it look like the Republicans can't govern and don't deserve any gavels whatsoever. That's what it makes it look like. For much of the day, top Democrat Hakeem Jeffries actually had more votes for Speaker than McCarthy. But Republicans hold the narrow House majority and the only real path to electing a Speaker, if they can agree on who. So, Garrett, it appears they're heading now for a fourth round of voting tomorrow. But are the Republicans getting any closer to consensus? No, Lester, they're actually farther away. McCarthy losing 20 Republican votes on the last ballot tonight. We can only afford to lose four. Also tonight, former President Trump declining to stand by his endorsement of McCarthy, telling me in a brief interview, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.